Hello everyone, my name is Hitesh. I welcome you all again to TradeBinds YouTube channel. And this video is simply a continuation of our previous video of technical analysis where we understood the concept of supports and resistances. Now through this video, we'll be talking about the next concept in technical analysis that is the concept of moving average. And before moving on, if you're new to this channel, please comment, like and subscribe to our videos. And please don't forget to press the bell icon because whenever we launch a new videos, you'll get notifications straight onto your phone. Now, before moving ahead and understanding the concept of moving average, let us understand what does a simple average means. Now, in simple terms, an average or moving average is the average value of a set of data. Now, say for example, you have four subjects in your examination and you score a total of 80, 90, 70 and 80 marks on all those four subjects. So how do you find the average? You add up all the four marks and you divide by a total number of subjects. So you get the average marks to be 80. And that is a simple and plain way of calculating the average. And in while calculating the average for technical analysis also, the observation or the calculation method is very similar and very simple. So while calculating the moving average, you simply add up the closing values of the number of observation you take. So take for example, if you want to find out the average value of say 14 days. So you take out the 14 days closing price for the particular share or of the, or of the underlying asset and you, you add up all the values and you divide by the number of observation and which is how you calculate the average price. So the next question which comes to everyone's minds is what are the different types of moving averages? In simple terms, there are two types of two types of moving averages. That is the simple moving average and the exponential moving average. Now, what the difference lies is while calculating the sim average value via simple moving average method, you give equal weightage to each and every observation. So take for example, if you were to take 10 observations, the closing value of those 10 observations for each and every day is given equal weightage. But in case of exponential moving average, the value which are very close to the current date are given more weightage than the value which are little far away. So take for example, if today's date is say 10th of April and if I were to calculate the 10 day moving average, so I'll be taking the closing value of from 1st April to the 10th of April. But the, the, the values of 9th April will be obviously given more weightage on than 1st April in calculating the exponential moving average. But in case of simple moving average, each and every value will be given equal weightage. Now what are the key observations here? Now the EMA that is the exponential moving average line or the average line will be more closer than a simple moving average line to the current price because in case of exponential moving average we give more weightage to recent data which is where the moving average line moves closer to the current value or that is the current value of the underlying asset. But in case of simple moving average as all the data are given equal importance which is where the simple moving average line is little far away from the exponential moving average line and which is why sometimes the traders or investors prefer exponential moving average and then a simple moving average because they consider it to be a better indicator as the values are more recent and they're more closer to the current price also. Now let us understand the application of this moving average with the help of real examples. Now this is a simple candlestick chart of Nifty 50 and we don't have any other information from it other than the candles here. Now supposedly if I were to plot the values moving average and how do we then how do we do that? You simply go to studies, you select the moving averages and you plot say for example say 20 period moving average and you plot another simple moving average and you this time plot say 50 moving average. You change the color for the sake of clarity and understanding and then you apply it. Now if I were to shrink this chart you get a very clear idea about the observations. The markets tends to be around on around the moving averages. And as and when the markets are above the moving averages, we can say the strength in the market. You can take the simple example from here itself. If you look at this chart, this yellow line with the 50 MA, as and when the market was above it, we saw more green candles than red candles. And we saw market trading, like market being bought back at every dip. And as and when the market came below this 50, PM, 50 moving average, you saw more weakness in the market and the market dipped more and as and when the market tried to retrace back there was more selling pressure in the market. So in simple terms moving average act as a bit of pivot point for the market. As and when the market is trading above it you will see strength in the market and when the market is trading below it we see a bit of selling pressure or weakness in the market. And if I were to explain the similar concept using say the exponential moving average then all I do is I simply remove these averages again select moving average and I change the type from simple to more exponential here and then you get the exponential moving average. Say we plot 50 period and then we plot a 20 period also. Now this is a simple chart of the exponential moving average 
Now the observation is similar. The only difference is this: if you look at the exponential moving average line, it is much more closer to to the current price than a simple moving average. I'll be explaining about that when I put draw a combined chart. But if you look at the simple moving average or the exponential moving average line, they are normally very close to the current price. And as and when the market is trading below them, we see a bit of selling pressure. And and as and when the market is trading above it, we see a strength in the market. So they are in a way the momentum decider for the market also. And as and when the market crosses over from like a weakness or that is below the moving average to above the average moving average, we see a bit of changing like the buying pattern. And if the market comes below from over the line comes below, then we see a bit of selling pressure in the market. Now, if I were to draw the same chart and if I were to make two moving averages, one being exponential and other being simple, first of all, I'll remove these moving averages from the screen. And if I were to take data moving average, and if I were to say draw 50 period simple moving average, and another thing I'll be drawing here is 50 period exponential moving average. Now look at this. this is a very classic pattern. The red line is a simple moving average and the yellow line is an exponential moving average. I, as I already told you earlier, exponential moving average gives more weightage to recent data and simple moving average gives equal weightage to each and every data, which is where the current price of the underlying asset or stock is always more closer to the exponential moving average than the simple moving average. If you were to observe all the points here, this is the, if you look at this yellow line is always more closer to the price of the candlesticks and as and it gives a better indication about the strength of weakness in the market as and when the market is below it we see weakness and as and when the market is above it it's we see strength in the market which is where while trading say maybe for intraday purpose or for like scalping purpose or maybe even for a short term purpose or medium term purpose it is always advisable to use exponential because more recent data is given more weightage now what are the applications of moving averages now it is helpful when we are spotting buying and selling opportunities. Now first thing which we need to remember is that as and when the market comes near the moving average line it gives you either a buying opportunity or selling opportunity. How do you identify that? If the market is trading above the moving average we can say it gives a better buying opportunity than selling opportunity and when the market is trading below it and if the market is trying to come near the moving average you can say there is a better selling opportunity than buying opportunity because you have a very like good risk reward rate because the stop loss are very tight and you have a decent reward opportunities out of it. When the price is trading above moving average it is usually a signal of strength and when the price is trading below the moving average it's generally a sign of weakness in the market. I hope we got that understanding clear. Now if before moving on moving ahead if you are someone who is willing to learn the technical analysis more in depth and more in detail. TradeBrains Academy is launching its course on technical analysis. Uh, I'll be putting the link in the description on the screen. Please have a look and try and understand what are the constituents or what are the components of it and make a judgment based on that. I would strictly recommend you just subscribe to the course because it's going to give you the detail about technical analysis in, in much more in detail and you learn much more face it and much more shortcuts and tricks of using the technical analysis in the market. I thank you for your patient hearing and I'll see you in the further videos of technical analysis and if you have any comments or any doubts you can post your comments or queries on the doubt section or in the comment section I'll be glad to answer that thank you so much